<laughs> right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. I'm getting a lot of comments and a lot of messages from people who own the NVIDIA Shield. And I've got to say, they're not happy. As a lot of you may already know, the NVIDIA Shields have now got the Android TV update, so it's got the new interface like Google TV. Now this is the one that shows you featured content at the top and a lot of people refer to them as ads and it also shows you a lot of recommended stuff to purchase. So a lot of people don't like it. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can put it back to the older version so it looks how it did before without having to install custom launches and things like that. Right so that being said don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so one thing I will ask is do comment down below what you think of the new Android TV interface. I personally don't mind it, but I also know there's a lot of you who don't like it. And for anybody wondering why I'm uploading to this channel once again, it's because I still can't upload to my main channel. So just check that subscribe button and if it's red, click it. <laughs> so get your shield remote ready and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, we're going to go up to where it says settings. And on settings, go down to where it says apps and click on it. And then you're going to click on see all apps. Once you've done that, go all the way down to the bottom and show the system apps. And then we want to scroll down until we find Google Play services. And once we find that, click on it. And the first thing you're going to do is force stop it. The next thing you want to do is disable it. Now don't worry, we'll take care of that shortly. And then clear the cache. Now once you've done that, we're going to click on back and you want to go up and find where it says Android TV Home. Once you've found that and opened that, you want, first of all you want to clear the cache. And then we're going to clear the data. But I suppose you could just clear the data and that'll clear the cache anyway. And then you want to uninstall updates. Click OK, and then we click on Force Stop. So once you've done that, click back, and then click back again, and then we're going to go up to where it says Restart, click on it, and then click Restart. Now get a few moments just to load back up. And then what you're going to see, it's running as it was previously, the old Android TV look. Now you want to go back to Settings and Apps, and see all apps, because you need to enable the Google Play services again. So you want to show the system apps, but it does say Google Play services there that's disabled. We click on it and then go down to where it says enable and click OK. And that's it. And what I'm going to try doing quickly is just restarting it to make sure now I've enabled Google Play services. If I restart it, will it still load up the older look? And it does. You just have to add your favourites once again into the app section at the top. Now I did think because I disabled then enabled the Google Play services, I wanted to make sure I could still download things from the Google Play Store. So I went into it, I just found VLC Player, clicked on install, as you can see it's installing fine, and I can open it and use it as normal. And then if for any reason you want the updated interface again, you can go into the Google Play Store, go to search, and you want to type in Android TV Home. Then once you've typed that in, we're going to click on search and you can see it there. Click on it and simply click update. Give it a few moments just to do the updates. And then it'll give you the option to uninstall. But we're going to click home. And then I'm going to long hold the back button and restart. Click on restart. And then give it a few moments once again just to start back up. And then we'll just let it load back in. And as you can see, we get that featured content at the top once again. We've got the updated interface. And then we can click on the details. It'll tell you you can customize the channels if you want. But that's how to get the updated interface back. So that's what you can do without having to install custom launches and just making it a bit complicating. And it gives you the true Android TV look that you wanted. So yeah, sort of ding dangly do. That's how you do it. That's how you can go back. That's how you can update it. I want to give a shout out to Cranky on Twitter because it's actually him that messaged me about this on Twitter. I've just said Twitter, haven't I? <laughs> so thank you very much for that. And hopefully this video helped at least one person because then it was worth making. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. ta -da. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. I'm getting a lot of... A lot of... <laughs> Loud that, weren't it? I'm out broke. <laughs> So one thing I will ask is do comment down below what you think of the updated Android Android Android. Oh yeah.